Yeah. I'm mean, good, man. How are you? Hey, Drake, can you talk a little bit about just your chemistry and relationship with Miles Brennan? It seems to be apparent out there. You guys have been together for a while. Yeah, you know, me and Miles' chemistry is great, you know. Just going into my fifth year, his sixth, so, you know, we've been together ever since then. I feel like our chemistry is there, you know, and, like, from all season to end of season, whatever we always do, and I feel like our connection is there. Yeah, I had that big 65-yard touchdown at the start of the 11-11 on today. Just take us through that play and kind of what it was like to bring call that uh, catch in. Yeah, you know, we got to the line of scrimmage. We looked at the play call. We knew what it was. And I seen I had, like, I think a big post or whatever. Me and him looked at each other, made it wink, and I knew it was in the air. Um, what is sort of the things you've been working on personally in the offseason? What are sort of maybe the next steps you want to make as a wide receiver heading into your season? You know, um, getting into my route and um, the catch, I mean, run after the catch. That's been the biggest thing that I've been working on, you know, after I catch the ball, get north and south and go to the end zone. Having, like, a young, talented wide receiver group like y'all have, what has it kind of been like for you being the, the veteran kind of leader of that, that group in the spring? You know, it's been good. You know, we do have a lot of young guys, but, like, you know, they playing like they are vets. You know, they all great with from the whole room. And, like, you know, since from whenever I was a young buck or whatever, and I had older guys looking at me like, what they are preaching me, that's it's my turn to give it back to the young guys. And I feel like I've been handling that well and letting them know because, like, in the room is competition everywhere. And so, you know, we, we all been handling it well. Greg, what's been the biggest change with this staff? And, and is every, how long did it take everybody to buy in? You know, um, once Coach Kelly came or whatever, um, he told us exactly what he said, you know, about accountability, everybody taking control of what they can. And, like, I feel like once he put it into our head, like, after the first practice, whatever, everybody's seen it, and we all bought into it, and it's been going great for us. You got the connection, you said, with Brandon, but what about Daniels? What have you learned about him since he's been here? Yeah, you know, Daniels, he's been on pretty good also since we, since he came. You know, he throw the ball. They all throw the ball great. And, like, Daniels, you know, he can run. He can throw and everything just like a few of the other ones. And I feel like, you know, the competition in the quarterback room is going to be great. Garrett talked about Coach Billy, Kelly being involved with the offense a lot. How is that for, for you because, or for receivers because – that was a coach at his deal. And you know, it's great to have a you know a head coach with us, you know. But obviously, we got you know Coach Hankton. You know, he's been doing a great job. And BK, you know, he spot up every now and then. You know, he tells us that. And, you know, we just even go harder. So I feel like it's good to have him around. And like it's just something that we um, thrive on. What has it just sort of been like at practice? I mean, it seems like y'all are running to everything. There's a really high sense of tempo and urgency. Just sort of, what has that been like adjusting to as, as a player? You know, it's been good. You know. It's, it was, a, it's been a big major um, a factor for us. Like, you know, we wasn't used to do it, but now that we are, whatever, like, you know, running back and forth to drill to drill, you know, it's good at getting us in shape or whatever. And I feel like the practice that we are doing, high tense, you know, all the running, and I feel like it's going to be helpful for us during the season. How's this coaching staff sort of enabled you as a veteran, as a leader on this team? You know, I feel like the um, coach staff now is, is like exactly what, you know, what we needed, you know. They have been doing a great job ever since they have stepped here. And like, you know, we all, I'm sure everybody on the team is, you know, glad they are here. It's been different, but I feel like it's for the better. What are the different, different uh, the difference in his practices, the way Coach Kelly wants y'all to practice? What's different from the in the past that you had to do? You know, right now, you know, it's just more like speed. We always run it, constantly run it, fast pace, you know, just how it is in the game, whatever. Composed to last year was kind of different. But like this year, you know, it's been something that we had to change and like, you know, we handled it well from the fast pace. Mike Jones over there, you know, he comes in last year wanting to play, you know, in the middle of, uh, as an inside linebacker. It's only been five practices, but what sort of um, growth have you seen from him heading into his second year here? Basically, more of he's been taking a more of a leadership role. You know, um, I say his first year, you know, he was probably, you know, didn't know if he could take that leadership role now, but like going into his second year here, I feel like that's going to be his major thing, taking that leadership role. And he's been handling it well for the guys on defense, and I feel like he's going to be a very great player for us this year. Ray, talk real quick about your role on this team and the wide receiver core. What, uh, what, what are they looking for you to do consistently this year? You know, just basically consistent, like, you know, on my routes, I'm going to run out there catching everything and also leading the guys in our room and obviously the other rooms on the whole offense and the whole team. And that is what I'm going to do, and I'm proud to have it, and I'm ready for it. When's your boy Booty come, come back? He going back this spring or is he out for the rest of the spring? We don't know yet, day by day. Were you surprised Miles came back or were you relieved, like, you know, you know, it's nice to have him back because we want him to finish where he started. Yeah, no doubt. Like, whenever I see him leaving, you know, I was like, man, whatever, because, you know, we've been here the whole time together. And, like, to see him come back, it was it was a relief off of me because, you know, I, obviously we wanted to do our last year together or whatever, but, you know, we happy to have him back also. He seemed really relaxed out there, being very confident. Yeah, no doubt. He loved the competition. So, you know, that's what he's going to do. 
And like, cause like I said, the whole competition in their quarterback room is heating up. And you know, they all ready for it. Does it take a little while to get used to catching a different ball? Mm. You know, everybody's got different yeah, everybody, strength and everybody puts it in a different spot. But what about that? Yeah, you know, everybody do have, does have different balls, but as a receiver, you know, you never know that can change at any time. You just got to watch the ball from the quarterback hand all the way. It's different from a right and a lefty, but you know, obviously we all got right-handers. And you know, it just, the only thing you had to do is watch the ball all the way to you. Have you heard yet about the little shuffle he did after that deep ball? No, I didn't see it. I was too, still too busy running and celebrating in the end zone. If you believe he did it, would that be outside his personality or are you not surprised? Yeah, he said he's going to have something special for us this year. So, and I, I would say, I guess he did it then, and I didn't see it. So I wait to see it. Real quick, you're right. A new guy's coming in. Uh, the two corners, and, and then Fouché and, and Brooks. Uh, if you could talk about those new DBs, what it's like to, to be going up against them. Yeah, you know, we happen to have those guys, you know, um, a new um, new tradition to our defense, you know. They've been doing very good. Like, they've been taking it on and off the field or whatever. And, like, they've been bringing, like, a leadership style to our team also. And they've been hiding well over there from the new tra transition from transporter. And now they are here. And I feel like they've been handling it great also. Good luck, Appreciate you.